Hi guys, Tuesday the 14th of March, charity shop gold or garbage, uh, spotted this, and I'm 100% sure I've already got something similar in my stock that I've never got round to actually trying out. Um, I've done a a UFO foe or blimp or something. We did fly that around, but I've definitely got another fish somewhere. Anyway, this one was priced at two pound ninety nine. I had a quick peek inside. It looks like the bits are there. So we got three fins. Got the main balloon there. A couple more fins. Some connectors. Sticky back paper. Yep, that's sticky back stuff. The important bit. So this gets moved backwards and forwards to adjust the balance. Battery goes in there. Looks like a single triple A. We'll find out in a minute. Infrared control, obviously. Hmm. And some ballast weight or wax or something. Maybe we ought to look at the instructions. Fill the balloon with helium. Yeah, I do have some. I don't know how much is left in there, but I did buy that for the blimp thing or UFO. Right. Okay, step one, film, fill the balloon. <laughs> I think we're out of luck. I think that's all the helium I've got. Just that little burst. Okay, that's it. Uh, I suppose the only other thing we can do is put a battery in there, in there, and just watch the bits moving. So we can't inflate it, but we can have a look at the works. I just tried this and it was absolutely jamming solid. It seems to be freeing up a bit now that I'm working it end to end. It's very definitely 
uh, too tight on the gears at the moment. Okay, so that's rubbish. How about this bit? Nothing at all. Is that fully home? Oh. Now we have, ah, I take that back a little bit. <laughs> Infrared couldn't see the sensor when I was doing that, could it? Well, still not doing it. There we go. Okay, so now we got some movement. The way it goes along is this is your tail fin and you're flapping it side to side to push it along. So that bit's working. So I think the reason it wasn't working initially was the infrared couldn't see the sensor. There should be a demo mode there. There we go. So that's okay. Put this bit. It's definitely a problem. If I undo these screws, we'll be able to get the blue bit out of this grey case. Just get a magnet to collect the screws so we don't lose them. So they're tiny little screws. I don't know whether it was just packed badly and it's all warped, or whether it is just rubbish. This will be very similar to one of those um, infrared controlled helicopters. The control, one for the up down motor and another one for the steering motor. So similar, not the same, but similar. Yeah, I don't think we'll get the clearance to lift that off. Oh, yes, we can. Bit of gentle leverage. Right, that's better.
No. Right. Well, that's what the problem is. There's teeth missing on that one. Let's focus on that. That's what our problem is. Missing teeth. Oh, well, that sort of puts a different perspective on things. It's not going to go anywhere, is it? Missing teeth. And I can't 3D print that. That's far too fine. Oh, well. That's as far as we need to go. <laughs> there is nothing else that we can do. I and mean, I could have a look at some of the servos that I've got, just in case they happen to have the right size teeth. Unlikely, but I have got quite a few scrap servos. Well, we're not in luck. The gear's in 9 gram servo. The wrong size, and the gears in the four gram, I think that one is uh, the wrong size as well. So that wasn't going to be a simple swap. Well, technically, I might be able to cut all that plastic away and actually fit a servo directly under there, have to modify it for continuous rotation, but um. I don't think we're going any further with this one. I knew you had another one somewhere. £1.99 that one cost me. Got a better looking box. But I expect it's identical inside. That's pink. Same. Yeah, looks identical components. I've never actually tried that one. Maybe I'll have to buy some helium or some more helium because we haven't got any left. And give them a try. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.